the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ has put in my heart to speak regarding a few verses that are extremely important to understand. Paul rebuked Peter. He repro reproved Peter. He rebuked him. Now, the reason why Paul re reproved Peter is because of the love of God. Not because of jealousy or hatred or strife or contention. Here in, in Galatians, see, so Paul rebuked Peter to uphold the true way so as to not digress. You see, that's, that's why he did that. It was in his heart to say, look, we have to walk this straight path. We can't, we, we, we can't go to the left or to the right. We have to be disciplined. That's what Paul was saying. Okay, Here in Galatians, and this is extremely important to understand, that all the brothers, are, this is what God puts into the hearts of his elect. So we have to work this out. We have to get get perfect for God. That's what this is all about. In Galatians 2.14 says here, because judgment is beginning with us. But when I saw that they were not straightforward about the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas, that's Peter, before them all, if you though a Jew live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like Jews? So, Peter shrank back, and he was um, he wasn't uh, he was just genuine, I guess, before the church, before the disciples, and so Paul actually took him out before everybody and told him. So what happened? What happened? You know what happened? Because of the maturity of Peter. Because of the understanding of Peter. Because of the genuineness of the faith of Peter. Because Peter was, was truly a man of God. And he was, he was struggling within himself to know the truth. Just as Paul was, they remained brothers. Okay, In 2 Peter 3, verse 15, Peter actually mentions Paul in his letters. And says... And 15, and count the forbearance of our Lord as salvation, so also our beloved brother Paul wrote, to you according to the wisdom given him. Speaking of this as he does in all his letters, there are some things that are hard to understand, and this, and this continues. Let's say with ignorant people, and also even unstable people, they twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. So, so Peter is understanding uh, that they must be strengthened and that the approval is for our own benefit. The approval is for our own benefit. And uh, one, may, one may argue and say, well, that was after, or that was, he wrote this before this happened. Well, the facts remain that um, uh, Peter died a very humble uh death. So, uh, this is how, this is how the way is supposed to, is supposed to um, act. Uh, we're supposed to be very disciplined. Very disciplined. And if we see something going, you know, starting to turn in any one of us, we must speak something, we must send a message that that brother see his ways because what's happening is that brother now is strengthened in the faith and and what Paul wrote is that um, reproval he, he spoke regarding the furtherance of the gospel and the Holy Spirit had me write here, the reproval especially from one elect to another is not out of strife envy, hate or jealousy Rather, for the furtherance of the gospel. It's not for hate or strife or envy or jealousy. It's not for any self-serving agenda. 
rather for the furtherance of the gospel. We have the heart of Jesus Christ, and we hope the reproval is open and plain. So not for the brother to be thrown down into the lion's den, uh, rather to be build each other up, to be built up, to be better equipped for when the time comes when we are put in the lion's den. You see, we have, is, this is regarding the, the, the interest of God. The interest of God, not our own interests. So, um, I, I thank you for all the re all reprovals. Everything false will be prosecuted by the sword of God. Everyone in their time. Being a spokesman of God is a tremendous responsibility, and those who teach must be perfect to avoid persecution. And I and I'll tell you in this I fear. I I fear being being where I. We're in this position with God. I know that God has put that fear in me because that's what keeps me in line. I understand that God has no favorites. I understand that um, teachers will be judged more severely. And God has put in my heart to seek Him earnestly, uh, to want to please Him, and to, to uh, arrive at the fullness of what he has purposed in me, what his perfect desire is for me to reach that. And this is from following the laws. This is from always getting to that next level, to always succeeding, to never, never uh, be slack in anything at any time. So, this is my office. This is what he's ordained me to do. He's purposed me. He, he, Jesus Christ himself and the Father, they have purposed in this ministry ever since the beginning. Ever since I had my, the, the, my, my supernatural visitation. So, uh, I hope you're edified. Uh, Hosea, in Hosea, and uh, check the notes underneath these videos because there's um, there's sometimes uh, mo more often than not I add I add notes, and, um, and and they're very important. In Hosea 10:12 is a very important verse. Sow for yourselves righteousness. Reap the fruit of steadfast love. Break up your fallow ground. This is your soul. Soften. We need to soften our hearts. Soften our souls. For it, for it is time. For now is the time to seek the Lord that He may come and rain salvation on you. That's His outpouring. That's the outpouring of His Holy Spirit. The Spirit is poured out and we must be prepared to receive that outpouring, that salvation. God bless you. Peace be with you. Amen. And thank you. I would also like to add in this video what the Holy Spirit just gave me more, um, as he always does. Uh, this particular office that I have is a huge office. It's very, very um, deep. And there's a huge responsibility because this office is handling the Word of God. And you know what Revelation says. If anyone adds or takes away from any words, then all the plagues and even more written in this book will be, added, will be put onto them. Now, that's why I really, I need prayers. I need prayers. I need correction. I need, I need people to, uh, uh, to reprove my work, to test my work, as I also always test my own work. And one thing that the Holy Spirit has revealed to me is that my success is proof that God is with me. God has spoken to me and has brought tears to my eyes. And when he says, I am with you, he said that 
quite a few times, and he, he, he spoke that to me clearly. I am with you. So as the Bible is written, if God is with us, who could be against us? I know that God is with me. And the only reason why I'm here handling the Word of God is because that's His purpose for me to do. To do. And that's why this office must be taken, I must be completely disciplined in following the laws of God. God is a cause and effect God. God the Father spoke to me. He said, the Father has revealed himself. I have come on to you. Therefore, I trust you to come on to thee. God purposed and given me an office. And he's, because of self-will, he is putting, he's given me an office. In that office, I have to uh, I have to perform his laws. I have to give him something. I cannot reject him. I cannot reject his laws. I cannot start sinning because, because I will be confused. He will confuse me. That's what he does. And then I will be digressing and I will be, uh, say, continuing in this office In, in falsehoods and deceiving people and thereby heaping up condemnation on myself. I know that. I know that very well. And he's put that in me. And that's, that's what keeps me on a narrow path. That's what keeps me disciplined. And these things, they must be explained. Now, also, you know, we speak regarding the sword of God. I speak regarding us being persecuted. The fact is, is that Lucifer, Satan, the devil will be brought to tribunal. Every time Lucifer, Satan, the devil accuses falsely, every time it persecutes and kills and murders and plunders and continues, it's only reaping more disaster, more destruction, more death upon itself. You see, so we live our lives as witnesses to that. We are martyrs for Christ. We are living sacrifices for Christ. That whatever is done to us, you see, is going to be done to Lucifer, Satan, the devil. Double, says the Bible. It's a double portion. So, uh, in that we rejoice because God is using us. And we are, are soldiers. We, don't, we do not mix with civilian affairs. Uh, we have an office to do. And we must be straightened and steadfast in our approach and in our in our hearts and minds until all things are accomplished our lives lived is is preparing the second coming of Jesus Christ we are here at the end of the age to fulfill all things the entire scripture everything all the laws all the prophets all the transgressions everything is being fulfilled right now in this last generation and in the midst of this dying world we are the light of the world. We're the ones to whom God is using for the truth to be made known through all the confusion, through all the chaos. That is through our discipline, through our denial of self for you, for the people to see, for the desire that God is using us, that they understand uh, the reality of God, the truth of God, and where the real road, the real salvation, and the real love is the reality is that the way they reprove out of love that's what they do the hope is for the the the, the person to turn around and to repent and to to seek god that is the vision and when a person only gets worse and they turn around, that brings mourning and grievance. That person has free will. That's not the objective. The objective is to preach the gospel. However, we know that just by preaching the gospel, people will fall. People will turn away. They will get worse. However, God is in control. And 
we have an office to preach the gospel, the love of Jesus, that we know is the true love, the right way, not to kill or to lie, to murder, to plunder, to steal, to destroy, not cont uh, continual strife and, and contention, not jealousy, not hatred, not malice, not strife. Rather, the love of Jesus Christ. That's the way for humanity. That's the right way. The love of God. The love of the Creator. Those that do not accept the reproval, we are to pray for them, but we are to have nothing to do with them. They have rejected the love of Jesus. They have rejected the cross of Christ. We are to pray for them. We are not to go and to have social um, mixing with them in our spirits. We are to be separate, especially now, more than ever before. And the reason why there is all this mixing is because of the ceiling. So the, one of the scary things is that God is now giving out this information in a time where it's still not too late. However, the, 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 the creation is so far gone in that we see the severity of God, the seriousness of God. God is moving forward. God, God will go back and procure salvation. There still is time. However, um, the way things have been progressing, we can see the condition of the world. The condition is not good. And that's, that's because of the devil has conquered. And that's because of uh, sin in the creation. That's because of the free will. And that is God teaching us a lesson. God showing us that he is the boss. He's the creator. Without him, we're nothing. We, we will die and wilt. So we hail Jesus, and we praise the throne, and we worship at the throne of the King of the universe, who is the only one who is able to, to save us. He's the only one to turn this whole thing around, and he's already ruling. In that we rejoice. However, we mourn, mourn and, and, and grieve at all those that have turned away, all those that have, have, have rejected uh, his, his love, whom, whom we have spoken with, whom, whom we have ministered to. At least, um, you know, I do. That because I, I always want to double check and make, sh and, and, and say, make sure that I wasn't the cause of that. I know, just preaching the love of Jesus, people will turn. And for that, you know, we, we look at Ezekiel chapter um, 18, the watchman. We've done our job. We did what Jesus told us to do. Yeah, so we are vindicated. The blood is not on our hands. So, um, I always, I always need prayer, and I always, and, and I always pray for, for, for the elect. Also, I pray for them. I pray for, um, for the success. I pray for the um, increase of wisdom of the Holy Spirit in, uh, in, in all the people. I. I and uh, I pray for um, for the for the peace of Jesus uh, in you, in your souls. God bless you.